It is easy to clean the interior by using a soft coil brush and soap, making sure not to scratch the surface. Then, fill the bottle with up to three quarters of water, close the lid and shake the bottle about 20 times so that the air inside the bottle mixes well with the water. Oxides such as hydrogen peroxide are formed through this process of aeration that further enhances the disinfection process. Jale rase sandha amla karavayu behevin upakari venama. Baat misra kiri me di amla karavayu hundatta jale re katu venama. Next, fill the bottle completely with water. Close the lid and place the bottles flat on an opaque surface in an open place which gets direct sunlight throughout the day for about six hours. The process can be further enhanced by placing the bottles on a reflective surface such as a galvanized roofing sheet or an aluminium foil. Water in a large reservoir or a well does not get disinfected by this way by being exposed to the sun. Angal hatrak jalagembura tulim para jambula kiran gaman kiri medi eh kriya kari tu bahu sehing adu enawa. Minta meka hehtu. Apa meka arne hundin terunggan non. This is the reason why we do not use bottles larger than four inches in width for this method. Coloured bottles are not at all suitable for solar disinfection. Refrain from using deformed, dented or cracked bottles. Even if you want to use a bottle, you can use a bottle of water and water and water and water and water and water and water. Plastic bottles are not used to use අගුණයි කියලා මේ සමහරු කියන කතාව ඇත්තද? It is not true. These bottles are made of polyethylene trephthalate which is marked as PET, P E T on the bottom of the bottle. This material is recommended worldwide for storing food items. Elaborate laboratory and field level tests on these effects of the reuse of these bottles for sodas have already been concluded. The results of such tests have confirmed that no harm comes about from the reuse of PET bottles for this purpose. Of course, glass bottles can also be used, but they are not safe in handling. Only clean water can be disinfected this way. This method would not work in muddy water because sunlight cannot penetrate it. If the water is turbid and unclear, filter it using a clean piece of cloth before pouring it into the bottles for sodas. Here is a very simple method to verify whether the water is clear enough. Place a bottle filled with unpurified water erect on a printed paper and look through the mouth of the bottle. If the print is clearly visible, then the water is suitable for sodas. If not, it has to be filtered before use. With exposure to sunlight, the growth of algae in the water becomes rapid. This is why we see green sediments in water that has been exposed to sunlight for long periods. These green sediments are the algae. To prevent this, use the water regularly on a day-to-day -day basis. Have two sets of bottles adequate to meet the drinking water demand of the household and don't forget to clean the bottles regularly. This method will not be as effective on cloudy and rainy days. The bottles should be exposed for longer periods of time on such days because the intensity of solar radiation will be much less. Sodis is applicable Everywhere, by everybody, regardless of status, it will always provide you with safe, 
drinking water. The risk of recontamination is minimal because the water can be drunk directly from the bottle. Also, it enables one to ensure sufficient water is consumed daily. Safe drinking water for healthy life. Let us make it our own responsibility. Sodis is cheap. It is easy to handle and you can save your time too. This message is brought to you by Helvitas Sri Lanka and the rays of the sun that light your life.